What's going on everyone? I'm going to show you how to set up your integrations for your calendar. It's really simple. So uh, first off, you're going to sign in to your account uh, and that's just your email, connect and then approve it. We'll just say connected and then we'll exit out of that. And so we have our calendar here. Um, from here, all we have to do is go to calendars. And we have no calendar here. This is now connected to our, uh, our Gmail account. So if you log into, say, Gmail and you have your Google Calendar, this is what it will, mine's completely blank right now. Uh, that syncs up with your actual calendar. I actually did uh, put lunch here from 12 to 4 monday through saturday just so i can show you but in order to connect with your uh account you need one that actually uh two-way syncs with your uh your current calendar these other ones don't so like for instance if i go to round robin if i go to edit uh, and go to customize there's nothing you can only add availability you can't have it sync with your calendar. Uh, so that's safe for business hours. Uh, events, this is more open. Um, you can connect two ways, which we'll go over here in a second. And then services, uh, so for instance here, customize, uh, there's nothing really you can uh, sync with. You can only add duration and then the minimum timing. So there's, there's benefits in, um, benefits to each of them, but let me go over how to sync with your actual personal calendar or one that syncs with uh, Google Calendar. A lot of them don't have that. This one does, which is um, the one, the simple calendar. So this will do personal calendar. Um, it doesn't have to be personal calendar. It could be podcast. It could be whatever. This, this is just like your one that actually connects with uh, your, your Google uh, calendar. So uh, say podcast, personal podcast, whatever that is. Um, say this is 60 minutes. Uh, we'll do it all this and say we just do it for like 12 a.m. and 12 a.m. Uh, so full scheduling and then we go to advanced and you see connections here. And then you click on your podcast, or sorry, your calendar. So as you can see, uh, Brandon uh, at the Money Friends, and we do uh, execute, and then we save. And so when we do this, you will see that um, save, make sure that this is all done, and then uh, good. So now we have our personal calendar that should be blocked off between uh, noon and four we have one that is open that we selected for uh you know whatever time and we have a consulting one say for it's open 24 hours a day seven days a week um or whatever that is that's probably not the best option for consulting but uh, maybe personal calendar was but we'll sh show you what this looks like now so if we open this one, you can see it should be blocked off on uh, from noon to four. So noon, yeah, so noon to four is completely blocked off uh, on Monday through Saturday. Uh, and then that's how you would block that off. So you just need to add this. So say for instance, um, we also wanted to block off say uh, 5 a.m. to um, uh, 8 a.m. say we're doing workouts and we're doing this every single day uh, daily and then if we go back to this calendar and refresh this it should block off those times too so that's how you sync it so as you can see it blocked off uh, 5 a.m. to 8 so that's how you would uh, do the three different ways to do your calendar uh, there's other ways but uh, that's what I find to be the easiest that's it guys peace